Oh, now then, my friends, I literally have said I would go to the end of the world to get you the best food reviews. And today, I'm at the world's end. So I actually have gone to the end of the world for you. Well, I've, I've gone to Loudham in Nottinghamshire. And I'll tell you why. Because these guys here, this beautiful, wonderful little pub, is situated in a, a, a beautiful village called Loudham. It's got acres of surrounding fields around it. It's a, it's really is. It's a place that you must put on your list of places to visit. I've been here before and their food is amazing. However, one of their dishes is really outstanding and it is their pies. They're famous for their pies. Now today we're going to test out the pies. We're going to go for the steak pie, which is tender steak, gravy, short crust pastry, uh, a pie served with twice cooked chips. I mean, not once, but twice. Uh, or you can have mash with it if you want to be more healthy. I'm going to go for chips. I mean, I mean, let's go all out. You either go all out or go home. Uh, and it's served, also served with seasonal vegetables. There we go. That's healthy. Uh, and that's £14. They've got uh, a menu on there as well if you want to try something different. They've got, uh, you know, haddock fillet on, fill it on there. Uh, they've got the World's End beef bur breakfast burger etc and hot dogs and caesar salads if you want to go caesar salad however as i say they are famous for their pies they're, they're always in the nottingham post uh, they get awards from them etc so we're going to mark it out of 10 today i want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well uh, again it is a family owned uh, pub here so i'm trying to support local businesses as i say where i can uh, so come down try it for yourself uh, if you like the look of it on this video give me the thumbs up uh, also if you're new to the channel do hit that subscribe button it's free it's not like a magazine anyway without further ado my friends i'm peckish so let's go Oh, there you go. What about that? Amazing surroundings. Really, honestly, fantastic. Great beer garden, a great selection of cask ales as well. And their pies are the best in the world. Let's go in and find out for ourselves. Come on. So here we are at the world's end. Now it is very quiet in here because I have come early so I'm not disturbing anybody. Uh, believe me, it does get a lot busier later. And this place, believe it or not, has been here since 1794. Now, who can uh, remember that date? Come on, onwards. <laughs>
my friends. Okay, so uh, I've ordered. It's getting a little bit busier in here now. Uh, came earlier on to do some B-roll, etc. Uh, and it's uh, yeah, it's getting it's getting quite busy. I've got to say. Um, as I said, we're going to go for the steak pie, tender steak, gravy, short crust pastry, uh, served with twice cooked chips uh, and uh, seasonal vegetables to be a little bit healthy. Right, so that's all ordered. That's come to a total of uh, sixteen pounds and seventy pence. I've had a large diet coke as well. Fourteen pound for the steak pie. Um, I've got the menu here. I've got to say, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit partial to a sticky toffee pudding, uh, but you know I've got to watch the waistline with all these. Uh, full English breakfast fish and chips and pie and chips um, also as well I've got to say the world's end breakfast burger I may have to return for that one that sounds good steak burger sausage bacon black pudding mushroom tomato fried egg seeded bun ash browns and beans that'll set you up for the day Right, wow, this looks absolutely superb. Um, before we go any further though, just take a closer look, my friends. Right, so I'm going to get a little bit of uh, vinegar on the chips here to start with. Try and not put too much on there. There we go, a little bit of vinegar. Uh, vinegar first, then it doesn't wash the salt off. Get the salt on there. I can tell you straight away, by the way, the, uh, the pastry looks great and there are some huge, huge chunks of steak there. Just look at that, it's literally bursting at the seams there with the steak. So we're going for this. Let's have a look. Wow, here we go. The steak is succulent. No gristle to it whatsoever. Really, really, really gorgeous, beautiful. And the pastry, nice and crusty. I've poured the gravy over the top there as well. We're going for the veg. Now the veg is done to perfection, very difficult to get veg right, it can either be overdone or underdone, that is perfection. Going for the chips. Yeah, du double cooked chips there, fine to that, just look at that, light and fluffy on the inner. Perfect on the outer. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, I shall eat this, come back to you, and then we'll mark it out of ten. Mm. Mm.
Right, well, I've got to tell you, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Hearty comes to mind. Hearty. Uh, what a great, great pub. This, in fact, we'll sum this up outside. I'm going to drink the rest of my drink. Uh, I think the only thing missing was a pint, but I'm driving at the moment, so unfortunately I can't have one. I'd have to come back uh, uh, another day for that. But uh, anyway, we'll see you guys outside in a minute. Right, let's get down to business. Okay, here we go. Let's straighten you up. So, that short crust pastry was uh, amazing. Melted in your mouth, it was very flaky. Uh, it was bursting with meat in there, the steak. Plenty of steak in there. Uh, the gravy, very, very nice. Um, the veg, done to perfection. Uh, not overdone, not underdone. Uh, very difficult to get the veg right. And uh, the surroundings itself was excellent. Uh, it's nice to go to a pub that's still got that homely feeling, you know, like an oldie world kind of pub, not one of these chains, I call them plastic pubs, um, you know, and, I, and I've got nothing against them. I've been in plenty of spoons, as you already know, um, but it's nice to have a proper family pub like that and, you know, the locals going in there and the surroundings, etc. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, chips double cooked chips I think they were very nice fluffy on the inside slight crispiness on the outer um, if anything could have done with a few more chips however saying that I'm just I don't think there's anything worse than going into a place when you come out and you just feel absolutely podged and you can't move um, so I feel just right I feel I, I, just the, just the right amount of food there for me. Um, so, score-wise, uh, I'm going to give this... I'm going to go... I'm going to go a solid nine, I think, for that. A solid nine. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. A proper hearty... Hearty came to mind when I was in there. It's a hearty, hearty meal. Honestly, though, what made it for me is a proper, proper... Boozer, do you know what I mean? A proper pub, not a boozer. Boozer is probably the wrong word because it's not, it's like a village kind of pub. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Try it out for yourself. Um, it, there's plenty of car parking spaces around here. It's a, some beautiful surroundings as well. I know you've got a main road there, but over that way, you've got fields and everything as you've seen on the drone footage. Um, so there we go. And before anybody says I am not sponsored, a lot of these food channels have sponsors, etc. I don't have sponsors at the moment. I've, I've had lots of people ask me uh, to be sponsored by them and I've um, turned it down, to be honest, at the moment because I feel that if you're sponsored, then you're, you're, um, you're at liberty to give reviews sometimes that you'd rather not say. So nobody has power over my channel or power over me. I'm not sponsored. I thoroughly enjoyed it. They didn't know I was coming, and uh, that's what I like. That's how I like it. I like to, I like to go in. I like that element of surprise. <laughs> Tell you what, though. She said, would you like anything else? I said, you know what? I'd like that sticky toffee pudding, but I think that would have tipped me over the edge, and I like to share anyway. Normally, I'll have a sticky toffee pudding with Sarah, and we'll just have two spoons. Anyway, that's all from me today. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. It is free. It's not a magazine. It's free. So hit the subscribe button, and also give us a thumbs up on your way out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I'm just waiting for the uh, the pie. What a car. I mean, that is a car. They can't track you with that one, can they? No electric there. Oh, man. I think I might ask him to swap it for mine, for my milk float. Oh, there you go. What about that? Absolutely amazing surroundings. Fantastic beer garden as well. Great range of cask, uh, cask ales, is it? That's garbage. Might need to do that again. Good for an outtake. Arrgh! There you go. What about that for some drone footage? Amazing surroundings. Fantastic beer garden. 
just absolutely, that, that's garbage as well. Get it right.